Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Takbarash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. And to you, speak bird Israelites that are scattered abroad that look like the heathen nations to y'all. Say shalom. And shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be out there listening and learning. And shalom to um, all you brothers and all you alchemists that's out there in the highways and byways laboring, pushing this 100% truth to the elect. Because the elect is what matters. Two things of all people will be destroyed in this time. They're going to come back in the kingdom. Um, you know, I want to say the Israelites who you go to the so called black, Hispanic, Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian. Well, the monster Panamanians, those are the Israelites, always have been, always will be. Um, I'm coming back at y'all with another video from End Time Headlines. As y'all can see, it says Whole Food Sparks Boycott Calls Over require, Requiring Customers to Scan QR Codes to Enter. Now, this is all leading up to the MOTB. You know, and why I want to do a video on this is because it doesn't matter what people think, you know, or what the Lord's counsel is going to stand. And I'm gonna start off with their scripture, you know. And he knows that stuff is gonna certain stuff that he does is gonna get <clears throat> people riled up, you know. Cause people can say they're not gonna do this or do that, but if they put in a situation to where like they don't have no choice, and these people don't believe in the most high, they don't believe in the Lord, you know. They all they know is this current world, this current condition of you know life. This is what they know. So if everything just stopped. Right, just like how when uh when uh you know COVID hit, they people gave in. They mostly the most these people they got the Kool Aid pack, that they, they they got that uh that jab scene. You know, if I could even say that, you know, they, most people got it. They took it. That serum, that thing they get injected in you, they took it. They wore masks like a, like sheep. You know, that's what the majority of people did. But you know, and my point that I'm trying to say is that uh. This stuff is going to be everywhere, ultimately, because everything is leading to the MOTB. All roads lead to the MOTB, you know? But I'm going to get this in the Proverbs 19 and 21. It says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. You see? So people have many things, many desires, many thoughts of, you know, different things that they want, that they, you know, think they're going to do. But the Lord is going to have the last word, you know? Because the Lord is in control, you know. Everything that's in these stores, you know, whether it's the sub checkout, you know, everything being cashless, they're not people stores not using card, especially these uh stores that require a lot of whole foods now, they require that uh that pay with your palm. And that's gonna lead into other stores. You ain't gonna have no choice. It's either you gonna be you gonna get down with it, or you go you ain't gonna be able to buy. No no palm, no buy. <laughs> you know. That's what it's coming back, coming down to. But, you know, if as long as you don't got the actual MOTB, you know, it's you can still pay with your palm. Like, no, nah, I'm not saying that you, like I said, I'm not saying it's okay to get the, the, the C. That's not what I'm saying. But, like, if you got to, like, wave your head, then, like, I don't know, you got to swipe your card or something at the same time. I don't know exactly how it's set up exactly. But, you know, if they have it and it's not mandatory, then it's, I don't know, it's some other way that you're paying for it somehow. If you don't got a chip in your hand, but, you know, as long as you don't got the thing in you, you, you know, you can pay with whatever, with every other, uh, forms of payment you can pay with, you know, that's the thing that we're not trying to do. We're not trying to go for it. You know, that's the MOTB. That's what they want to, Hey, they want to put in people, man, so they can have that ultimate authority that ultimate say so and control. That's what it's all about is control, you know? So this little, you know, uproar over this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lead to uproars over the actual thing, too. But that's when they're going to come with uh, incentives. They're going to come with rewards. They're going to want to come with them gifts, man. They did this with the, the jab scenes, man, the, the uh, injections, man, for COVID. When they came up with them injections, hey, they, they was giving people free free money. I remember hearing it on the radio. You can win some free money. We can win these tickets. They was giving out free burgers at certain restaurants and stuff. They was doing all types of stuff. And you don't think they're going to do the same thing? For when they come out with this uh this C hip, the, the MOTB, hell yeah. You know, so this little uproar of this thing, man, they're gonna probably offer stuff for this too. You know, people are, are simple. You know? 
Cause that's that's not the MOTB anyway. But um, I want to get this in Isaiah. Let me see Isaiah forty five. Cause the Lord is in control, man. You know these these people ain't gonna stop because it's the Lord's plan, right? Um, let me see. No, that's the wrong one I got. I think is Isaiah forty five and five. Verse 7 says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. You see? So, the Lord got people with this mindset to, to rebel and, you know, rise up and, you know, be against the powers that be because of certain things. But that's when the powers that be are going to convince, they're going to convince you, you know, through through uh, gifts, presents. You know, I, brought, I think I brought that out at camp earlier because we was talking about the MO2B a little bit. Um, is there, is there another one in Ecclesiastes? Let me see. Let me see. It's like, yeah. Um. I, I thought there was, was, was one in Ecclesiastes, but... Ecclesiastes 10 or verse 8. I'm going to get Sarek. Sarek. Yeah, so right 20 and verse 29, it says, Presence and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. You see? That's what's going to ultimately, um, you know, get people to comply, you know? Because a lot of people are waking up to what E is doing, you know, and what he wants to do. They're, they're waking up to it. But, you know, they're going to ultimately, hey, they're going to come down on you, you know? That's why the time we lean into is called the hour of temptation. And we're going to need deliverance from on high, man. We're not going to be able to get out of the situations that's coming without Yahweh Shem Yahweh You know, but it's that, that hour of temptation that's coming, only the elect is going to be able to get out of it. This is Revelation 3 and verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, this truth, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see? It's going to try them by, you know, them having to choose life or death. Them having to choose whether they're going to eat or they're going to not eat. Having a home or not, having a no home. That's what this is all leading to. This is just another prelude. This this uh, requiring you to have your, your QR code to enter. This is, like I said, this is all leading to it, man. It's all leading to it. You know? And for you, there's lights out there that are still playing, man. Let me get this in Sarek 5 and 7 for you. Right. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly should the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security. Thou should be destroyed and perish the day of vengeance. So you see that? So you have the Israelites that's saying that MOTB is not the C-Hip. You saying it's not, you know, that. Are you saying that it ain't coming and you ain't speaking on it at all? Yeah, the Lord got something coming for you. I made my, you know, pretty much my last video about the MOTB. You know, this we're, there's a reason why we keep talking about this, man, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. There's a reason why. It's very important. It ain't not important. It is important. Every scripture, every prophecy that's written is important. We must speak on it until it comes to pass. You know? But the Lord, the Lord is gonna have, you know, stuff happen, chaos happen, so this man can bring in his order. But the, through that chaos, the Lord's gonna deliver his elect. So I want to get this in uh second I mean second Edges chapter 15 real quick because this is this is what's coming, man. It's coming. Chaos is happening. It's coming. This this is uh second edges chapter 15 and verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and to them, and to them at the world they're in, for the sword and the destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and with swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, and they shall not regard the kings nor princes and call in the course of their actions just into their power. So Esau is gonna stand on what he's he's doing. But it's gonna ultimately lead it's gonna to lead to his demise. Even though 
he's going to do a lot of damage. A lot of people are going to, you know, die in Jenkins' trouble. And this time that we're coming in, hey, it's going to backfire on them too, you know. A lot of these, uh, probably, really your mayors, like your local mayors, your local senators, hey, people are going to find them, you know. Because they're not as rich as the elite. They're not the top elite Edomites, man, you know. They're going to get got, man, you know. So, this is all part of the prophecy, man. People are uproaring. People are getting mad about this. But this is going to happen regardless. The MOTB is going to come out. It's going to be mandatory. And like I said, once they give you them gifts or they threaten you with life or death, you know, people are going to take it eventually, you know. They're not going to just, oh, well, I'm not going to feed my kids. No. Because these people don't have faith. They don't have faith. They don't believe in nothing else but the sports. So, they're going to, they're going to fall in the trap, you know. So, yeah. I just wanted to do a quick video, man, on this, uh, real quick, um, you know, before I drive to the, uh, drive home real quick, um, I hope this video was edifying, you know, to the sheep, to the elect, to 144,000, which are all men and the rest of one third, which are men, women, men, women, and children, um, you know, keep praying, uh, st stay, stay fasted up, <laughs> or fast more, you know, pray more, you know, we can all do more, I'm starting, I'm talking to myself first and foremost, um, stay occupied prophecies, man. Keep going out in the highways and byways till we can't no more. You know, may Yahweh, may Yahweh Shem Yahweh be with you, you know, for the elect. You know, so, till next time I want to say Shalom, Wad, blah, 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 Shalom.